New at six, it is a syndrome that often goes undiagnosed or misdiagnosed. And with the legalization of medical marijuana, doctors in Pennsylvania are seeing more cases. In fact, states that have legalized recreational marijuana are also seeing spikes. Heather Abraham has more on the condition that is sending people to the hospital. With marijuana use becoming less taboo and more acceptable by a growing number of people, there's a condition that's also growing, with more being diagnosed across the country. And the symptoms aren't pretty. Painful, cramping, vomiting uh, occur, and it seems to happen, you know, it can happen every few weeks, every few months, last for a few days, and be incredibly uncomfortable. The symptoms can be so severe that many end up in the ER, needing fluids to rehydrate. Dr. Michael Lynch with the Pittsburgh Poison Control Center at UPMC says the cause of cannabinoid hyperemesis syndrome, or CHS, is still unknown, partially because of how complex and how many chemicals are found in the marijuana plant. We need time and obviously study, and I think that's going to be really important. It's also unknown if medical marijuana broken down in forms of CBD and THC could lead to the syndrome. What is known is that the patients have been using marijuana for a long time, possibly even years before symptoms develop. Because there's no lab test, it can be hard to diagnose, but physicians are finding something in common with the patients. Are frequently asking to or wanting to go take hot showers because they've learned that that will at least temporarily help them to feel better. But Dr. Lynch stresses the relief from the hot bath or shower is only temporary. And right now, there's only one permanent solution. The only way, if you're somebody who suffers this, that you can ease and stop the suffering is to discontinue use. And even then, it can take a while for the symptoms to end. Marijuana is stored in fat all throughout our body. And so that we know, even in testing, we can find it for weeks or more after uh, somebody's last used it. Dr. Lynch says it's important for people to be honest about their medical and social history in order to get a quicker diagnosis. But again, the only treatment right now is for people to stop using marijuana. Outside UPMC Presbyterian Hospital, Heather Abraham, KDKA TV News.